Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move your WhatsApp from the Android to an iPhone. On my left, I have WhatsApp running on a Samsung Galaxy A15 Android 15. On my right, I have an iPhone 12 mini running iOS 18.4. So how can we move all the WhatsApp chats from the Android to the iPhone without resetting the iPhone? Because a lot of people ask me, how can we do it without resetting the iPhone? We're going to go to a website called Tenorshare. And from here, we're going to download a software. And look at this. We have here iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer. We're going to click there. And this is the website, guys. iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer. So we're going to download it. And we're going to see what happened. All right. And I'm installing this software on my Windows 11 laptop. So it says best WhatsApp chat mover. No reset required. Quick restore. One click merge. Free backup. The installation was successful. This is the software, guys. Please select the social app. So you can do it with WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business, GB WhatsApp, Kick, and Viber. You can use any of this software to transfer chats from Android to iPhone and vice versa. So if I click WhatsApp, it's going to ask me for a source on the left and a destination on the right. So what we need to do is we need to connect both devices. The source is going to be this Samsung Galaxy A15. So this is my WhatsApp on the Android. Let me show you this chat because on this chat is where I have most of the data that I'm going to transfer, right? So contacts, emojis, memojis, messages, pictures, videos, and I also included all kinds of attachments. So all of these guys, you need to see it on the iPhone in order to consider this transfer successful. I want you to check on settings, click on chats and chat backup. If you want, you can do a backup that's going to guarantee that you have the latest backup. So we're going to connect this device to the computer to see what happened. I'm going to use a USB-A to USB-C cable to connect my Android to the computer. Let's see what happened. Allow access to phone data. You're going to click allow. It's recognizing the Android device that I have, the source. And let me do the iPhone now. I have a USB-A to lighting cable connected to the computer. I'm going to connect the iPhone and let's see what happened. It says trust this computer. You're going to click trust. So now we have the source and the destination. Let's click transfer. It says here that you need to enable USB debugging. So how can you do that? We're going to go to settings and from here, we're going to click about the phone and then you're going to click on software information. And from here, guys, this is build number. We're going to click seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Allow development settings. Click OK. So that's going to enable this menu, which is called developer options. You know, you can go and search for developer, let's say developer, developer options right here. So look for USB debugging here, USB debugging, click and enable it. Allow USB debugging, click OK. It says allow USB debugging. You're going to click always allow from this computer and you're going to click allow. We're going to go back to transfer. Click transfer again. It says no WhatsApp detected on iPhone 12 mini. Please install it first. We're going to go to the App Store. Look for WhatsApp. You're going to download WhatsApp. Click open. And I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. Because I don't want to configure it first. Let's see what happened here. No WhatsApp detected. OK. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click transfer again. WhatsApp data on the iPhone 12 mini will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? So click continue. Backing up WhatsApp data in the source device. This is my WhatsApp. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to chats. Media visibility, it needs to be enabled. Archive chats, it needs to be keep chats archive. And it's asking me to enable end-to-end -end encrypted backup. I'm going to click chat backup. Looks like I need to enable this end-to-end -end encrypted backup. So click there. Add an extra layer of protection turn on. Looks like I need to click use 64 digit encryption key instead. Your encryption key and I'm going to click generate your 64 digits key. Yeah, and this one looks like that. All right. So it looks like we are good. Let me take a picture just in case because just in case I mess it up. All right. Continue. Did you save your full 64 digit encrypted key? I save my 64 digit key. Create your end-to-end -end encrypted backup. Create. And now it's backing up this stuff. Okay, it's done. Let's see what happened here. I'm going to click continue. Getting WhatsApp data from the source device. This is the source device. It says 1 to 60. Backup WhatsApp data in the source device. Get WhatsApp data from the source device. 
and it says, please select the verification method. I needed to do a screenshot. I'm gonna enter it manually. And then E14F, and I'm gonna click verify. And it says, select data to transfer. Okay, so it looks like it works. I have messages, GIF, audios, documents, images, stickers, videos, voice notes. I selected all. Continue. Getting data that can be restored. Login into WhatsApp on the target device. Click login. You need to turn off Find My iPhone on iPhone 12 to continue. First, I need to log in, I believe. And the number is this, 786-947-7210. I'm going to click next. Yes. And it's sending a code, 307. Yeah, I got it. I got it on WhatsApp. This is the code that I need to put, 195714. Okay. If you have previously used WhatsApp, you can restore or transfer your chat history and media. Leave it like that because what I need to do is I need to log out of Find Mine first, as they say here. So how can I log out from Find Mine? It says go to your Apple account. You see Find Mine, Find My Phone. It's on. You're going to turn it off. All right. Turn off. Let's see what happened. Okay, now it's off. Now let's go back. I'm going to click try again. Restoring data to the target device, it says. Restoring process. It says transfer successfully. WhatsApp data has been transferred from Samsung to iPhone successfully. My iPhone is restarting. Let's see what happened here. I'm going to keep it here for you guys. Let's see. Let's open WhatsApp. WhatsApp would like to access your contacts. Continue. How do you want to share contacts? Share all. I'm going to click skip. Yeah, I'm going to click daily. I think it works. Yes, I have all my stuff here. Now, remember this chat that I show you on the Android? This is where I have all my stuff. Look, and as I told you guys, if I can see this on my iPhone, that means that the transfer was successful. And as you can see, guys, everything is here. Emojis, memojis, pictures, contacts, audio files, all of that. So this transfer is 100% successful, guys. I was able to move from my Android device that I have here to my iPhone. This is the tutorial that I brought you today. The software is called iCareFone Transfer. WhatsApp Transfer is from the company Tenorshare. Tenorshare was kind enough to give me a license so I can do this video for you guys. Please let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this software and if it works for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is your friend Alex and I'll see you on my next video. Take care guys, bye.